What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we are going to be doing issue 30. So this is issue 30 and then let's have a look. So when we say it's issue 30 we have four issues to do and what we'll do is we'll do uh, car part stage 111 and we'll do car part stage 112. And then the next video we'll do 113 and 114. Right, so what we need to do is we're doing the left rear fender crown in this video and we are gonna do the left rear reflector and outer light. So what we need to do, we're gonna go get all our pieces out and then we'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, so the first thing that we need to do is get all the pieces out, like I said, and we just need to make sure that they're okay, none are broken, and you should have EP screws and AP screws. So. The first thing it's asking us to do is take this section here, and this section is 111A. We will be attaching 111F, which is just this back piece here, and then that will slot into this hole. As you can see, it's only got one sort of locating lug where it will fit in, so it will only go in that way. That goes in like so. And then in the end here will be an AP screw. And the AP screw will hold that in. So let's have a quick look what we've got here. See whether we can just pop that AP screw in or whether it's not gonna let us or not. Let's have a look. So I might need to get a magnetic one. Is this one magnetic? Let's have a look. Uh, I don't think it is magnetic, but this will probably do. For what I need it's kind of like a weird angle because you have to get it in kind of to the side but it does go in quite nicely if you are pushing on say like a desk or something and you don't have a bit of foam like I do I would recommend putting down a towel or something like that because you do not want this to break right so once you've done that you should have something that looks a little bit like this so as you saw, the AP screw went in there. The next thing we're gonna do, we probably will fast forward for this, just so you're not watching us screw things up, but we are going to be putting on this little trim here. I think it's this one. So this one is 118B. And with the trim facing this way round, this should sit in here that way round like so. Yeah, so it'll fit this way round, I'll just show you, so you can see. It's quite fiddly. So it'll basically just make the nice trim for this, and then it just sits in there like that, along there, like that. So it'll just have like a chrome trim along the bottom. We need to attach three EP screws. We'll quickly fast forward through to put those in, and then we'll show you what that looks like in just a sec. Right guys, so there you go. So that didn't take too long to do. So that is basically now that chrome strip down the bottom there held in by three EP screws. One, two, three EP screws there. And that's how it wants it to look. We do need to install this chrome section here which just sits over this top bit here. So it just pushes over there like that. And then on the inside, we just need to pop in two EP screws again, which will be quite easy to do. We'll keep the video rolling uh, and not fast forward through, just because we only have two. And then maybe you can see sort of how quick it really is. Even though we fast forward through doing the screws, it really doesn't take that long to put them in. It's just the fact that once we know where they're gonna go, there is no point of just, you know, tediously watching the screws go in. We may as well just fast forward through, which is why I fast forward through most of the screwing part, because I just find it easier just to get to the result, which you wanna see, where we know two EP screws go in there, and that is how it should look. So look how cool that is. Right, so the next bit, is gonna be moving on to the next issue by the looks of things, because it wants us to put this chrome section along the top here. And as we know from the previous one that we tried to do, this does not sit on here well. You can push it in over the tabs, but it does try to ping out. I say that and it probably won't try and do it now. But last time we tried to do this, 
it just wanted to ping off and it didn't want to stay in place at all but it is asking us to push that in over those lugs let's see if we can get it to stay I don't think we will be able to but you never know right so basically it's asking us to just push this top section 111 D on the top there and as you can see I mean it doesn't like to fit well until it's actually attached to the wing itself but that is pretty much what it is. So in that issue, that's what they want you to have, this and this, and that is really it. So let's go on to the next one. So as we can see here, the next bit it wants us to do is, it wants us to do stage 112, which is a left rear reflector and outer light. I'm just gonna go grab that and we'll be back in just a second. So guys, as you can see, we have all the pieces out. What it wants us to do is go and grab and make figure A. So figure A is going to be 112D, which is this section here. And inside there, we need to put in the lens. So it's just this little red lens here. So 112B. So that just sits on top inside there. Should just fall into place. Or oh, I've got it around the wrong way. Uh, there we go so it goes that way up there we are so it just sits in side there like that as you can see and what it wants us to do now it wants us to put the cover over the back of it uh, so there's a cover that sits over the back just like that just make sure it sits flush and then that cover kind of just holds it all into place so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go put in two AP screws either side and then we'll be back to show you what that looks like once that's done. There you go guys so they're now in so those were the two AP screws one here and one there that's holding 112A in which is this one into 112D which is this chrome section here and then what we need to do now is on the front here there's this little tiny lens which is just there, which just pushes into there. And then there is three screws that holds it on. These teeny weeny screws here, three of those that pushes that on. We're gonna go and attempt to get those in and then we'll come back and show you that in just a moment. Okay guys, so that was a very teeny weeny there. So as you can see, I don't know if you can get a good angle on it, but there are three screws holding that in and they are RP screws. And I just went ahead and I used this end, which was a CRV PH000. I used that to put them in. And I didn't even put it on the screwdriver. I just put them in by hand because they're so delicate. It didn't really need me to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to the next bit. The next bit is quite easy. We just need to take the trim that we just built in the last bit. And we just have to push this piece here. Uh, 112 E down into there so we just have to be careful pushing it in but we need to push that down until it clicks in and then it sits like that so at the end of the issue it wants us to have this piece and this piece but what I'm going to do guys I am going to move on because I feel like this wasn't a lot to do so I will go and grab out all the pieces for stage 113 finishing the left rear fender crown because I really want to get that built so we'll continue this video and go do that. I'm going to go get all the pieces out. I'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, we have got all the pieces out for stage 113, finishing the left rear fender crown. You do need to go and get this, which they call 66C. This is going to have to be taken from the model, which they've asked you to put on. Uh, just the base model part of it, not the bit on the top and basically it is marked with a Q. It does tell you that in the magazine and you want to make sure it says Q just like that and then you know you're on to the right track. But just don't forget you need that piece. Right, we're moving on to a new piece now. So 113A is just this bit here. And what we will need to do is attach 113B and 113B is this section here. So that will just go into one of these holes here. So the closest to you here, and that will sit in there, and that will just go on like that. We do need to attach it from the inside, 
using uh, an AP screw. So we'll go ahead and quickly pop that in. I don't know if we'll need to fast forward through. I think we should be okay. And then maybe you'll see the struggles that we go through trying to pop these screws in sometimes. Although there is a chance we could make it look easy. Sometimes it happens that way. Remember, it's just plastic. Don't go too far doing it. So you should have something that looks a bit like that. And then you will have your AP screw holding in, just going down that way to hold it in there. Right, so once you've done that, they call that figure A. Figure B is going to be putting this little red bullet piece on, and they call that 113C. So again, we just need to tease it into this hole. Don't know why we couldn't have put that on first, but there you go. That's what they want us to have it looking like. So once we've done that, we need to do the fiddly part, and that is going to be putting the light piece in. So what you need to do is just check the image. So on the picture, it's showing that the bit that goes down like this is down, but that piece there, this, the taller piece, that's the one that goes into the bullet section. And that goes into the bullet section of not this piece, but it goes into the bullet section of this piece. So you need to make sure you get them right. And what they want you to do is they want you to kind of bend it and put it in to that hole. And as you can see, that hole is very fiddly, but if you push it in enough, you can get it in there. So usually the best thing to do is use a screwdriver to push it in, but you just need to be really careful if you are doing that not to damage the LED in any way but I'll do that and show you what I mean so what we're going to do is line up the LED into the tiny hole that's there and then we're going to slowly push it into the gap we just need to be very careful not to break it in any way. Let's go this way around. And we'll slowly prise it into it. Very, very delicate. So once you have that LED in, you should have something that looks like that. So it goes into there and it's into that tunnel like so. Right guys, once you've put that in, we will need to move on to this section. So this was in the last issue, not this one. And it is called 111C. So basically what it does, it kind of just covers up uh, this bit here. Just trying to see if I can get it on. So that'll go up that way, which is fine. And then it kind of fits into, kind of just pushes over that slot there. Um, but I'm just trying to make sure it lines up nicely. Seems like it's gonna be okay. But I feel like the cable in maybe is getting in the way a bit, I'm not sure. Let's see. This bit is not asked to be glued in or anything. It's just supposed to sit on. So, but it doesn't seem to want to line up great, I guess. But yeah, so that is kind of the gist of it. It just sits on like that. Uh, once you've done that, you do then need, this is probably all gonna fall apart while trying to do it. So it's probably best to just move on to trying to join this piece together. So. This, uh, this sits over the top of that, but they wanted you to put the, the bulb in to there. So we'll do that. We'll probably just move this bit out of the way for now because it'll be in the way. Cool. 
Right guys, once that is all in place, you will see, this is pretty fiddly and very hard to do, but it should look like that. It's quite nice when it's done. But you will need to have, in the top here will be a WP screw. I do recommend a little bit of super glue behind there as well. Uh, NP screw in the section of, that one goes into there, and NP screw goes into there. And then down the bottom here, is an LP screw. Make sure you get these right because if you put an NP screw in here, it will go through the other side and ruin it. So make sure NP screw, NP screw, and LP screw there, okay? And then you should have it looking like that, which looks really nice. So, moving on to the next bit, we do just move on to a different section altogether, which will just be figure A we're gonna be making on here. So this is 113D and we are going to be taking 113F, which is gonna be that section there. That goes into place, like so. And then on top of that will be 113E, and that just slots on top here, like so. There is only one way it can go in. There we go. And then we hold it in place and then pop in the middle there and what they call an XP screw. So let's have a look what we've done with the XP screw. Uh, here we go. So it's quite a long one actually. So that's an XP screw. Let's pop that in. So screw that all the way up, don't over tighten it, it is plastic. And then you should have something that looks like that. So they call that figure A. What we need to do now is we need to join this onto this section here. So I'm gonna make the next figure A and that will sit, hopefully, on there like that. I'll show you it on this side. So it'll go on like that. So get off again, pop back on, sits like that, lovely. So what we need to do, we'll pop that in place. It needs two DM screws. We'll go put those in and we'll be back in just a minute. Right guys, now that's in place, it should look a little something like this. So there you go, looking really cool. Uh, so we'll pop that down. What we need to do is move on to the metal section, which is this bit here. So we need to take that. So this is 110A, and then on the insides, we're just gonna be fitting these little brackets just to hold it on with two XM screws. Right, so now that they are in place, as you can see, they just sit, one goes here and one goes up there, and that's where they go, and they are held in by XM screws. We do now need to attach this piece to it. So this should sit on here. Let's have a look. So that should sit on just over the top there like that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go put the three DM screws in just so it stays in place. And then we'll come back to this in one second. Okay guys, now you can see that's now attached. It looks seamless, doesn't it, how it goes on and makes up that rear fender. Just absolutely incredible, especially the back bit there. But there you go, so that's that. Uh, we do need to, it doesn't tell us to, but we do need to just sort of like trail the cable down out of the way. So what we're gonna do is just gonna do that just so it's out of the way for a minute. And we need to move on to attaching this section here to the back of it and we're gonna be using IP screws. So we just need to kind of figure out what way it goes on. So it just sits over the top of there like that. So it's quite simple to do. And it just sits over and holds into place. Looks nice. And we will have to just screw that up using two IP screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that from the inside and then we'll come back and show you where we did that in just a moment. Right guys, so that piece is now done. So as you can see here, 
the back section is now into place. So we've kind of made up this whole back fender. This bit keeps popping out, but that's only because once it's sitting on the car, you will see that will go in really flush. But at the minute, it just wants to ping. But once it's pushed against the vehicle, it won't want to move like that. So that will be fine. But what we need to do now is we need to go and grab the vehicle. And then we need to bring it onto here. We're going to turn it upside down. And then we're going to attach this to it. And then we'll be done. So let's go grab it and we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, guys. We now have the model out. So what we'll do now is we'll just check what we need to do. These cable ends here will need to go through the fender itself and then they will go through. But it's going to be hard to show you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just attach it and then I'm going to bring the camera over to show you where we'll put all these because it's just going to be the easiest thing to do. But what I want to do here is perhaps open that door. So I can pop it into place. I think this top cable here shows they want it to go in between those cables, which is fine. We can do that and line it all up nicely. But it is going to take a little bit of doing lining it up. So once it's in place and you're happy, then I would then start to add the screws. But they're saying to put these cables through as well. Uh, which is what we will do. Just seeing where they want them to go through. So they must go underneath that. So there's like a little red tab at the top. I'm going to make sure they go underneath that first. Which they do. I might put that little red tab in first. Just so they're out of the way. So we don't have to worry about the cables. So that keep them down and out of the place. Right, so I'm going to go start popping the screws in and I will show you where they all go when we come back. Right guys, that is all now complete. So as you can see, it looks really flush. The door's really nice and it just goes really well. I do need to tip it up just so I can show you the inside. I'll try and turn it around because you might be able to see from that side. I reckon you will. I'll just spin it here and then I could possibly just point and show you using the screwdriver where we had to put all the screws in there. So um, first of all, let's tip it to the side. The lower ones here, all the way down the bottom here, these ones are NP screws all along the bottom there. And then the ones that are in these main channels here, they are the IM screws. There's one there as well, two there, sorry. And then there's another two here. Do not get them mistaken with the pillar here. These two here are the long ones and they are the N, uh, the YM screws, sorry. So YM, so YM in here. And then the MP screws, so November Papa screws along the bottom. And then you want to have the IM screws in these little channels here. And that's what holds it all up. And then there's one that just goes in the very top here, just down here. And then that is also an IM screw and that holds that into place. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the car up so we can see what it looks like on the other side. Very heavy. Very heavy indeed. But there you go. So that's what it now looks like from the rear. Very nice. So we see if we can open the door. Okay. Yep, door opens fine. Closes fine. Doesn't look really nice. Really does. So there you go. So once you've done that, you should be left over with this piece here. And then that is all you need to be left over for that one. So what we'll do is we'll, we're going to leave it there for this video, but we will come back again and do stage 114, which is going to be the skirting rear fender and rear license plate. So we will be adding Mike Lane's 
license plates on these as well so we will be doing a video about that too so if you like this video and um, remember to stay tuned uh, to you know the up and coming ones that are coming real soon please give us a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one take care now bye bye